Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, X.E.L.O. So today what I want to do is actually go over pitch shifting inside of Reaper. So I'm going to have a couple of audio files in here. I'm going to show you how to actually pitch your samples inside of Reaper three different ways. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Reaper and this theme is called Reaper Tips. So let's get a sample in here. All right, so I chose a nice little four bar sample. This is what it sounds like. Right, really simple uh, little sample. I'm gonna stretch this out so you guys can kind of see what's going on. So I'm gonna show you three methods. All right, so here is the sample. So what the first thing you can actually do is actually create what's called a pitch envelope. So yes, Reaper does have pitch envelope that you can actually use. I know you don't see it when you first click on like your automation, this little button here will take you to your automation and you don't see like the pitch envelope in here uh, whatsoever. So in order to actually get the pitch envelope to show up, go right click on your item and then you wanna go down to take, this option here that says take, and inside of take, you'll see it has take pitch envelope. So what's really cool about Reaper is that you can actually create a shortcut for this if you wanted to. So once you create it, as you see now, there's like a little green line right here in the middle of the sample. So now you can actually do some automation on here. So if you wanted to just do like a curve or whatever, so you can hold down control and you see it changes the icon. And you know, you can do a pitch up Right, and you're gonna do a pitch down here, kind of go across, do another pitch across, right? So you could you could kind of do how you want to for your pitches. So now, so those are options that you do have. So I'm just gonna remove them. If I hit delete, it should delete those. Uh, nodes that I just made in there. So that's an easy way to, to delete the nodes, just hit delete on them if you're on the pitch um, envelope, right? So um, let's say that you wanted to kind of have it more strategic. So you have, you know, uh, different places where you want it to actually be. So you can actually do that. You can even do it in sections, which is really, really cool about Reaper. So like, let's say um, I highlight this section here, right? And now if I hold down, control and shift and you see this arrow that pops up this will let me move the envelope up or down so it'll do like this whole section here to kind of move the the pitch up and down um, by default the highest pitch right now is set to three as you see it says three semitones on there that is the highest it'll actually go uh, because it's set on a default for it but if you want to change that you can change it two different ways. If you just want it just for this one clip, you can right click on here and you could go to range scaling for this envelope and you could do this pitch envelope range snap, right? So when you do that, you can go here to click the custom and you could actually change the semitones to 12, right? And you could do the snap values, which is where it'll snap to a semitone instead of going above or below. So if you click on this, you have a couple of options. You could do off, which is probably set on right now in the global settings. You can do one semitone or you can do it by sense. I'll probably just say, just do it by semitones just to make sure that you're locking in and snapping to that semitone itself. So you can hit okay. So now when I go and move this, it's gonna go by the semitones. As you see, it says seven semitones added. So now if I play it. So you have that option to kind of do whatever you want with the uh, pitch envelopes, right? If you want to set this permanently, you can go up, to, you can go to your preferences. So I'm just gonna hold control and hit P on my keyboard to bring up my preferences. And you wanna go down to editing behavior and you want to go to envelope display. So this is basically what the, the automation envelopes will display in there. So for default, as you see, it's set to three, you could change this to 12 so that you have a whole octave. If you want to actually go up or down an octave 
for the sample. And here is a semitone snap. You could take that off and change it to semitones and just apply at the bottom. So now anytime you're using this, it's already set. So this is a good way to actually set your semitones if you feel that you're gonna use it this way to actually do your pitch shifting, All right? So I could just hit okay on there. So now um, if you just, you know, you want little sections of your uh, sample, like I said, you could just do this really easy, control and shift and just kind of bring this up and I'm gonna bring it up to, let's go five here, right? Uh, let's move over here and then we're gonna go down. So let's go down, um, right? Bring it back to normal. So this is kind of what it sounds like now. So you have many different options you can kind of do with this. And like I said, you can always just kind of add your own. If you wanted to, you can just, you know, make a section. I'm holding down shift. And as you see the little dot there, it will make the points. Uh, so you can make like two points here and like two points here. And you could just kind of grab the middle and go up and down, make your own little uh, section if you wanted to as well. And it'll lock on to those semi-tones, whatever you have it set to. So I think that's really cool. Um, So let's move on to the second way. All right, so the second method of actually pitch shifting the sample. So if I have the, the clip actually highlighted, uh, if you'll notice like in this area here, you'll actually see the number of the pitch shift change. So by holding down shift on your keyboard and then hitting the number zero on your keyboard, it will go up by one pitch. So let's go up three semitones so you can hear it. Right? So let's say we want it to go down. You will hold down shift and you will hit the number nine on your keyboard. And as you see, the pitch will go down. So I'm gonna go down to negative three and this is what it sounds like. Right, so that's one way to kind of set up your samples. So if you want to do them by sections, you can just split them and then kind of just do this same method. So let's say we wanted to do that. I'm gonna go and bring this back to zero. I'm gonna hold down shift and bring this back to zero. So when it's zero, you see it says it just rate, uh, just because it's already stretching the sample to match the tempo that I have. So let's say we just did, you know, um, we did sections. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard and that's gonna split the sample. I'm gonna click here, split, and I'm gonna click here and split, right? So let's say this one, I want it to pitch up. One, two, three semitones, right? And this one here, I'm gonna pitch down to five semitones. I'm holding shift and hitting the number nine. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five semitones there. And let's just do um, two down here. So I'm gonna go hold shift, number nine, go down two. Right, so now this is what the sample sounds like. Right, so you have these options to do this uh, if you want to for uh, each of the samples. So I'm just gonna kind of delete these, right? And just stretch this back out. So um, that's another way to actually set up pitch shift inside of the sample. So let's say you wanted to do like a fine tune. If you wanted to do fine, you didn't want to do semitones, you would hold down shift and hit the number eight. And as you see, that'll go very, very slow through the semitones. And if you hold down shift and, hold, and hit the number seven, it will go down. So that's how you go down and up. So if I wanted to go down to a negative, I would go that way, right? But this is like a fine tune. So if you feel that something's like a little off, let's say it's a guitar and you know, it's a little bit out of tune, it's not directly hitting on that C note, you can kind of tune your sound to make it on point uh, that way as well.
to pitch shift it. So let's say you want to affect more than one. I'm going to grab this one and drag it down and let's do one more, right? So if, if I highlight all of these, right? So if I highlight all of these here and let's say I do a pitch shift, right? So I'm going to do a shift and hit the number nine. As you see, all of them will pitch. So it's a good way to kind of group all of them together. Um, I really haven't gotten it to work for the uh, the automation one. So if you guys do know of a way to do it with the automation, uh, definitely let me know. All right, so let's move on to the third method. All right, so the third method is pretty simple and it's actually a plugin, but the one I want is this one right here, this Rhea pitch. This is a default for Reaper. And this is what it looks like. You can shift by the semitone. So let's say we go up three, right? Right, so you have it that way and you can go the other way. Right, so that is another way to actually use the, the shift or semitones on here. So you do have the option to drag and drop effects. So if you wanted it to go directly on this, this actual wave file. So um, if I had them split and I just wanted it to be on one, so let's split them real quick again. So I'm gonna split here, split here, and let's split here, right? So I can have a different pitch shift on each one of these. So if I grab it right here, just click on it and drag it. I can drop them on there and you see it has this little effects on here now. So now um, if you wanted to, you have your effect inside of the track itself. Uh, if you wanted to pull it up another way, you can hold down shift and F on your keyboard and that'll bring up your effects window. And you could do the same thing. I can just click here and drag the rear pitch right onto the wave file straight from the effects folder. So I think that's really, really cool that they actually have that option. And you can just grab it here as well and drag it. So either way you want to do it, drag it from here, drag it from the effects chain, uh, grab it from the effects library, uh, or even just dragging it from each individual one. Real easy way to drag things inside your audio track. I think that's really, really fire. And then, you know, you can set each one to a different thing. So I'm set that one, close them out so I know which one I'm clicking on. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's go, um, let's go five down on this one. And I can go to this one here and let's leave that one and let's change the first one. So the first one, let's go up, let's go up five, right? So now I haven't set directly on the audio. So now if I wanted to, I should be able to These are the three ways that I found out how to actually use pitch shifting inside of Reaper. If you have like any questions or concerns, please leave them below in the comment section. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel so you can get more Reaper videos like this. And once again, it's your boy x.e.l.o. And thank you for watching Learning Reaper. Till next time, people. Peace. Hey you, yes you, YouTube wants you to watch this video next man, go ahead and click it, I'll wait, <laughs> nah I'm just playing, I'm not going to keep waiting here, alright, I will see you in the next video though, peace.